Good morning, welcome, or welcome back to my channel. Last, I think it was last year, I showed you the Lit Joy edition of Anne of Green Gables. Now I'm here to show you their edition of Little Women. These are my top two favorite classics of all time. Little Women is my number one favorite. I am so excited. I did have to open the box briefly to see what was inside, but I didn't get a look at anything in here. So don't worry, this is still all of us looking together. Obviously, the edition was so beautiful that I had to get some of the other Little Women goodies. Card, oh my gosh, the art is so beautiful. Guessing this is meant to be Joe and Beth. So focus. Then here's the inside. Dear Lit Joy Reader, thank you for shopping Lit Joy Classics. When we get to the heart of Little Women, we adore the story of integrity, kindness, and human sympathy that we all strive for. Can't help but admire the charming weaknesses and strengths of each of the characters throughout the novel. Our goal was to bring to life that very charm through the art and customizations of this special edition. You'll notice the incredible work of artists. Ooh, I don't want to butcher the name. Olga Baumert? Baumert? On our fully illustrated book cover, five full page illustrations within the book, and custom slip cover. We also added a colorful bookmark ribbon and stained edges for an even more custom collector's book. We hope you take the time to further experience LitJoy Classics. Make sure to check out our romantic collection and keep an eye out for more whimsy collection sneak peeks. XO, the LitJoy team. I didn't really need another notebook, but I just couldn't resist. <laughs> Same illustration as the little card, except this has a quote in the sky. I am not afraid of storms, for I am learning how to sail my ship. I love that quote so much. It's got spirals on it. And the back is a continuation of the illustration. Look how pretty that ocean looks. It's smooth, but I love how you can see the paint texture on it. I love that. Okay. And then this is the pattern for the book. Oh, I love these patterns. The Anne of Green Gables one was gorgeous. This one is gorgeous. I kind of just think I'm a sucker for art with objects. <laughs> I'm not sure. What do you call that? A magpie? I mean, I think magpies are attracted to shiny things, but I'm a little bit of a magpie. Okay, so most of the notebook is lines, and then there's a couple blank pages. You could use that for writing, or you could use it for sketching if you draw. I don't draw, so I'll probably just use those as a continuation of the writing paper. And then there's a couple of these bullet point um, pages. A uh, bullet point? Is that what you call it? Like the pages in a bullet journal, basically. You can use these to draw as well. But, yeah, I don't do that. I didn't get that skill, so... That'll just be for writing. Pencil case or makeup bag. Whatever you want to use it for. Oh, it's that same object pattern. How cute is that? It kind of has like a vintage look to it. I can't explain it. Like... 
the cameras make it look a lot more lighter. In person, it's much more of a, like, teal, I would say. Teal with almost a yellowish cast over it. That makes it look like vintage or something. I don't know. I love it. Then, <laughs> the little zipper is a paint palette that is so cute. Open it up. Ooh, and the inside is a really pretty light peach color. I love that. I'm going to find something really special to use this for. Time for the main events. Litjoy Classics. I forgot I added these. So these are like really cute Polaroids that you can use as Polaroids. You can put them on a pin board or you can use them as a bookmark. Got it out so you can see better. Okay, so Luna and Gilderoy. Gilderoy again, and this is Padma Patil. Trelawney. I love her. Gilderoy again, and Gilderoy again. I'm guessing the ghosts are meant to be... Let's see if I can focus better. Rowena Ravenclaw, and is it the Grey Lady, who's her daughter? And Moaning Myrtle. And the background is inspired by the Ravenclaw common room. I love it so much. There's that. And then artwork by Sarah Conradson. Conradson? Hopefully I said that right. This one I didn't remember ordering. I think this actually just came with the book. I don't know. Same artist. It is a Christmas Carol themed, which I love. I was literally just talking about it, so. Very excited. Ghost of Christmas past, probably. Ghost of Christmas present. Ghost of Christmas future. So now I have two beautiful photo strip bookmarks. So excited. I think I might actually stick this one in my Christmas Carol book. I'm sure y'all don't care about this, but I have this really pretty Christmas Carol book from Puffin. It's a Puffin Chalk edition. I think I'm going to put the bookmark maybe on this page. Look at that. Perfect. Back to the main events. You've already seen this pattern, but this is what the slip cover looks like. I guess that's what we can call it, right? A slip cover, slip case, slip box same here okay the spine is a really pretty brown color like chocolate brown with lettering that matches this like teal blue color it actually reminds me of a bible i had in the 2000s because i don't know why but this color combination was so trendy, and I had a Bible with these colors. I wonder if I could find a picture of it. How funny would that be? Okay, cover reveal time. Are you ready? Oh, looks like the living room. Oh, that's not the cover. That's the back, but that's okay. How pretty. Fire, the kittens. Oh, this art is so beautiful. Oh, 
Okay. There's the cover. Little Women. The lettering on the side is orange. Or I'm sorry, on the front is orange. Matches the frames. Meg and Joe. Beth and Amy. Lisa May Alcock. Oh, it's so pretty. The end pages are, of course, that same beautiful object pattern. Actually, these pages are showing up very antique looking, which is what they look like in person. I love that. Makes it look like an older book. Okay. And I got number 642 out of 1,000. Very cool. The first 1,000 are numbered. I also got a numbered copy of Anne of Green Gables, which is very cool. Okay, and then on the inside is this information section. And then the same note as the card. The illustrations are on these pages. And the table of contents. Part one. Get down on this level. Try and focus better. That is their house. What's their house ca called? Is it Orchard? Orchard House, I think. Okay, I did confirm it is Orchard House. Here's chapter one, Pilgrim's Progress. Just like Anne of Green Gables, every chapter has a little object. I can't tell what this is. Um. I mean, it's on here, but what is that? Does anyone know? What, is that supposed to be a hat? Like, I have no idea what this thing is. Mm. Moving on. Here's the first illustration on page 11. Mrs. March reading them a letter from their father. And it's Christmas time. I love the art because it reminds me of a painting. And I know obviously it's an illustration, but I mean like a classic painting that you see in a museum. The style of it. Oh, love that. Chapter 2, Merry Christmas. We have paint brushes, which of course represent Amy, who loves art. Page 21 is our second illustration. These are the March sisters and Hannah. Well, it might be their mom, but they're bringing their Christmas breakfast to a family in need. In the background, we see Orchard House and then Lori's house or the Lawrence residence. It's focusing. Sorry. Make sure you can really see the illustration. It's Joe in the background. Yeah, I think this might be Marmy, not Hannah. I forgot. I think in the book she comes back to the house and asks them nicely if they'll give their breakfast away. 
We have a painting on an easel to start chapter three, The Lawrence Boy. Chapter four, Burdens, Gloves, Meg's Gloves, probably. Or actually it's a single glove, yeah. Because she shares with Joe. They each have one nice glove and one stained glove. <laughs> Chapter 5, Being Neighborly, A Hat and a Sword, which of course represents their games of dress up and make believe. There's Orchard House again for Chapter 6, Beth Finds the Palace Beautiful. Chapter 7, Amy's Valley of Humiliation, we have some sheet music representing Beth, who plays the piano. Chapter 8, Joe meets Apollyon. Is that how you say it? Apollyon? And we have an orange. If you don't watch my videos, as I said before, Little Women is my favorite classic, but growing up I never realized that the antique book I was reading was actually an abridged version, so I only read the full version of Little Women for the first time about two or three years ago, which is so funny to me because it has been my favorite classic for years, and I never knew. Chapter 9, May Goes to Vanity Fair. Looks like paint. More representation of Amy. Chapter 10, the PC and PO. We have paper, a quill, and ink to represent Joe's writing. And it looks like page 121 has our next illustration. The girls putting on a play. And it looks like they're joined by Lori. Chapter 11, Experiments. We have a paint palette, once again, for Amy. Chapter 12, Camp Lawrence. Pencils. This could represent a lot of things. Drawing, writing. Chapter 13, Castles in the Air. A piano for Beth. Chapter 14, Secrets. Um, what are those? Like tongs for the fire, I think? Chapter 15, A Telegram. Ice Skates. Chapter 16, Letters. And we are back to this thing. And I really, like, is it supposed to be a turban with a feather? Is it a nest? Like, what is that? I don't even know. No, I don't see anything on the back that looks anything like it. Like a basket of something? I, don't, I really don't know what that is. I think that's the only thing I don't like because I can't tell what it is. Okay, and I think that means that the symbols are now going to repeat. Yep, because there's the paintbrushes again. So, we are now going to look for the next illustration. Real quick, I'll show you that the ribbon in this book is a light pink. baby pink which goes beautifully with the teal color also looks very beautiful with the brown as well this is a very long book and there's definitely less illustrations than 
Well, maybe it just seems like less illustrations because Anne of Green Gables isn't as long. That might be why. Page 448. Okay, it's this one, which obviously we've already looked at twice. So I won't linger too long. But it's so beautiful. And then the last one is at the very end. On page 569, it is Joe with Professor Bear, it looks like. You know, the moment under the umbrella. My hands are empty. Empty no more. <laughs> oh. It's a nice one. Letters from Father, check. Christmas breakfast, check. Pickwick Club, check. The tide can't be stopped, check. Under the umbrella, check. So we've seen everything. And then just to compare, I'm going to pull out Anne of Green Gables. Let's see. Yeah, same number of illustrations. However, this book is... 335 pages. <laughs> this book is 589 pages. So that's why it seems like less. But Little Women is gigantic. Okay. So Anne of Green Gables has the pink sprayed edges. Little Women has teal sprayed edges. That's what they look like to match the cover. Okay. Little Women is so big. Let me pull out Anne's navy bookmark real quick. This is them side by side. Back. The slip covers. My shelves are getting redone, but just to show you what they look like side by side. Here's a look at the spines. Standing up. Oh my gosh. Please ignore the dust. I'm so sorry. It is so dusty where I live. It's so hard to keep up with. I don't know what I was thinking when I got white shelves. I really don't. So gross. I'm so, I am so sorry. And just to show you, this is the antique version I grew up reading. A golden picture classic. I got this at a used bookstore attached to the library across from my very first dance school. I read this so many times. Like, I will never get rid of this. This was my introduction to Little Women, and it changed my life. I know this isn't what you're here for, but I figured it was a beautiful thing to show, since Little Women is my absolute favorite. The pages are yellow and so fragile. Contents. See, look how short this is. <laughs> Guys, I thought I was reading the entire book. I really did. 
and then copyright 1956. How crazy is that? See, it starts the same way. Christmas time. They're in the living room. Marmy reads them the letter. Christmas breakfast. Oh my goodness, guys. A lot of it. There's a lot of things in here. Oh, this page is gone. Look at that. I just love it so much, though. I don't read it anymore because I don't want to rip it anymore. Yeah, there's a lot in here about them together and Lori. But mm, it's mostly missing the second part of the book, which is called... Is it Good Wives? Little Women is the first part, and then the second part is Good Wives. Initially, I believe they were published as two separate books, but eventually they became one giant book. Here's our Marmy Leaves to get their paw. Oh, goodness. There's nothing about Meg because in Good Wives, it focuses a lot on Meg and her home life, her married life. And I'm sure, oh no. That just, oh. This is why I don't mess with it too much. Oh look, this is when John Brooke actually proposes. Ew. This is interesting. Okay, there's Meg getting married. This talks about her having babies. Okay, so this last chapter, how it all turned out, is a really quick version of the second book. So it just wraps everything up in a very <laughs> fast-paced manner. But, I mean, I still got the gist of the story, okay? And now I've read the whole thing. Still my favorite classic. Still five stars. That is it for this Lit Joy haul video. If I can, I will provide links so you can buy your own copy of Little Women, uh, the notebook, and the pencil case. I will also link if they're still available. Anne of Green Gables might also still be available. If you buy something because of my video, I would really appreciate if you would put in the notes section Lauren Michelle from YouTube sent me. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to hit that red button down below to subscribe and become a member of my YouTube family. Also, click the bell to turn on your notifications. Click the link below to become a patron and financially support future content. There are 10 tiers to choose from, something for every budget. My comment section is always open and video suggestions from you are always welcome. I will see you in my next video. Bye!